Finally, I have one of these here in the UK after being in a coming soon state for what felt like forever. Now these have already been out in the US for a little while, but I'm finally getting around to doing my review now. If you're new to the channel, remember to hit the subscribe button, like and comment down below, and there's ways to support the channel in the description as well. If you're new to Ubiquiti, or Unify for that matter, this is a great starting point for your apartment or house. The Dream Router is a replacement for your ISP router. The flexibility it has to be built with the Unify ecosystem is really good. And I'll tell you why I think that is a little bit later. So first we look at the price. The price in the US is $199 and 230 euros in the UK slash EU. It has Wi-Fi 6 capabilities built into it and that uses 4x4 MIMO. And it has the same for the 2.4 gigahertz range as well, which is 4x4 MIMO. It has two gig of RAM inside it and it has a 1.53 gigahertz dual core processor. So let's have a physical look at the unit itself and have a look at unboxing and what's inside. So here is the Dream Router box. Again, fairly similar to the Dream Machine. In fact, it pretty much is the same size as the Dream Machine box. It has the Unify logo on top and the information down below. So let's go ahead and lift this up. And there we go. That is the unit itself. You can see you've got this little screen on the front here. And flipping over to the back, you have your power, your WAN port, which is a gigabit port. You have two PoE ports, which is 802.38F, and you have two gigabit ethernet ports just here. You have a micro SD card slot here for expanding your storage for recording. At the bottom, you have all the details along with the QR code and a reset button here at the bottom as well. Also inside the box, you have a little QR code on get started. So that's also useful. Just some more information and the power plug. Ubiquity, as good as your products are, uh, I do live in the UK, which as I'm sure as most of the other people, please do send adapters with your devices. And that's it, that's all that comes in it for $200, that's all you need really. Um, slightly would have expected an ethernet cable in there, but it's not something that will come with. So what do I like about this router itself? You can use it to run all of the Unify OS applications like network, protect, access, talk, and connect. It has a built-in AP, which is Wi-Fi 6. It also has the expandable storage option. The biggest thing for me, I think, is the PoE, because it's very useful to have one of these just to power up a camera or something else, such as an access point. You can also get a fairly big micro SD card for it, so if you want to do your recording, that will also record on there as well. The last thing I think is really good is how easy this is to set up. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do that on your mobile phone. So this is all loaded up. You'll then go from your ISP modem into the back of the Dream Router in the WAN port, which is the blue one at the back that I showed earlier. And you can see straight away within the app, it's already found it. So it's already found the console. I'm not signed in, I'm not logged into a UI account. So this is all local. You click Setup. The only thing I will mention is just make sure you are connected to Bluetooth. It's gonna ask me to plug in a connection. And literally, you give the device a name, you type in a user ID, an SSID, sorry, and give it a password. Uh, click next. You can log in with a username and password, so it is gonna ask you for it, but you can proceed without an account, which is what I'm gonna do right here. Without an account, you lose a couple of the features, which is fine, but we're gonna proceed without an account for now. We then give the console a password, and then set up local access. It's just gonna quickly go off and test my internet speed. Um, I am plugged directly into my other network at the moment, so I'm getting around about the speeds I would expect to get. Then after you've got your speeds, you just click next, and then it's gonna go off and download and do an update. And we'll let that go off and complete the firmware update. But just in a matter of two to three minutes, I've had this device set up. The light's nicely gone blue now. We have a Wi-Fi and SSID set up, and we're able to access the internet from the Dream Router as if we were using the ISP router. So we've gone through the good. So what are the downsides? Well, there's a couple of things I can think of. The first one is it doesn't have the two and a half gig WAN port that it does in the Dream Machine SE. So I guess this is a bit of an upsell from Ubiquiti saying if you want this, you've got to buy the bigger device, but that one doesn't have Wi-Fi included. It would be interesting to see what the price would have been had they included it. I don't think it would have made too much of a difference, but it's not there anyway. Also, no USB slot. Now this might be a bit old school, but it would be good to have some compatibility with some third-party devices. 
But any long time Ubiquiti user knows, once you buy into the ecosystem, you gotta stick with everything within it. Doesn't Ubiquiti give you a bit of an Apple-esque feel with the ecosystem and third-party integrations? The other thing I wanted to discuss is why you would buy this over the Dream Machine. Well, to start with, it's cheaper by 120 euros in the UK, and it's $100 cheaper in the US. The Dream Machine doesn't have Wi-Fi 6, neither does it have PoE. It also doesn't have the expandable storage. You can also only run the network device within. But the good thing is the Dream Machine does have a faster processor though. So what I'm about to do is quickly take you through the interface and show you some of the other things you can do within it. But before I do, let me tell you why I think this is a great start. So as I mentioned at the start, you can run all the Unify OS applications and it gives you the option to expand into the ecosystem. Now there's a variety of different light switches that are available to you. You can plug into this device. That will give you the same look and feel of how this is. And also if you want to expand your Wi-Fi or your security footprint, again, the PoE can do that for you. So let me show you how simple the interface is. Here I am connected to the computer. So I've connected my laptop to the Wi-Fi of the Dream Router and now I'm connected to this. So I'm going to log straight in. And you can see straight here, this is the Unify OS uh, portal. So just if I quickly move my head out of the way, you can see I've got install on access and talk. Now I did mention about connect earlier, but that is still in early access. There's a, there's a video on Ubiquiti's website. Just keep in mind that you can only run two of these applications at the same time. So it says it right here, the UDR can run two applications simultaneously. So you'd have to turn one off and the other um, if you were just running protect or access. So you could only do two of those at a time. Now go back to the dashboard with the network available. You can go within here. Now I have plenty of tutorials on my YouTube page. So go into the Ubiquiti playlist. I'll leave the playlist as a link also as well and you can have a look at the number of different players. Some of them are slightly older than the others, but the same principles still apply. Now there's a lot more configurable in here. Again, I'm not gonna go through it all, but there's things in terms of making multiple networks, uh, guest networks, having the firewall turned off, turned off, so many different settings you can set up within your network. Again, I'm not gonna go through those now, but it's an option that's there as well. In Protect, so Unify Protect, again, I have different videos. You can go ahead, you can plug a camera in. You can see at the moment there's 128 gig built in, but I would probably recommend adding something else onto there because that's not going to last very long. If there are any videos specifically you want to see on the Unify OS, let me know, drop me a comment down in the description below and I'll see what I can put together. Just to give you an idea in terms of the signal strength and in terms of how uh, the throughput performance works in terms of going to the router, so from the phone to the router, I'm going to quickly run a test on the Wi-Fi man. Now, there is further tests I can do running iPerf. If you want to see some performance testing on the Dream router, let me know down in the comments below. So the one this side of me is the one that I'm running right here, and the one on this side of me is the one that I've run on the furthest point on the same floor. So you can see on the screen now I've got a signal mapper. I'm going to put two up, one in this room directly next to it and one at the furthest point in the house on the same floor. So you can see I'm going to start the signal mapper and the signal itself is fairly good as you would expect being right next to it. And then we move on to the throughput. You can see that's hovering up and down. Um, this is without any configuration or any setting changes or any optimization. Again, I've got a video on uh, Wi-Fi optimization. You can have a look at that. That's also in my Ubiquiti playlist. And you can see also on there, this is running Wi-Fi 6 as well. Overall, this router is perfect for anybody that wants enterprise grade software without paying the Ubiquiti prices. So it's perfect for anybody wanting to use this at home getting themselves set up on Unify, learning the ecosystem, and maybe buying something a little bit later to expand on the ecosystem. But just before I finish up, remember, hit that subscribe button, because as you can probably see behind me, I have a lot of equipment, and there is a lot of recording to do. So definitely more reviews coming. If there is something specific you wanna see, let me know down in the description below. If you wanna support the channel in other ways, again, it's down in the description below. This is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.